Okay, we're going to set up PhotoStream for iCloud and your PC. So go to the website for the iCloud, make sure you have an account and sign in, and find the control panel for Windows. You have to have either Vista or Windows 7 to be able to do this. Click on Download, go ahead and install it, and then we have to find it. So you go to your control panel, and they may have hidden it in Internet Options, but in this case, they went ahead and put it in iCloud just separately. And from there, you open it. I usually go ahead and put it in the system tray for, so I can find it again without having to go through that process. Click Apply, and then we'll take a quick look at Options. This is just where um, the folders it creates are located, so you'll know where they are. But you can change it, but I really wouldn't recommend it. It could cause complications with other programs. All right, so now let's go find the folder under Pictures, Photo Stream, and let's open Photo Stream. My Photo Stream, this is where your iPhone and iPad pictures are going to be uploaded to. They should display there fairly quickly. And now a nice little trick, let's go back. Let's open the Uploads folder. You can take any folder, or excuse me, any picture on your PC, and you can put it in this folder, and it gets uploaded to either your iPhone or your iPad or both. I have both, so that's what happens with mine. We're not quite done yet. You have to activate iCloud PhotoStream on your devices. So go to Settings, click on iCloud, and then scroll down to PhotoStream. I already have it turned on, but in most cases you're going to need to click on the arrow, and then you're going to need to turn it, turn it on. Quick tips, if your iPad is slow to upload photos to your um, PC or vice versa, turn off the 3G and that kind of gives it a little kick. Also, if your device gets confused, turn it off, give it a timeout, turn it back on, and it may work just fine. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, please subscribe. Thank you.